Hi, this is Matt Smith here, and it is a Sunday, September the 17th here. And I want to make sure that everybody here on the coast of Maine was really safe and secure because I heard that during Tropical Cyclone Lee yesterday, there were about 59,000 people without power during the storm. And most of the storm surge was located off the Bay of Fundy and Gulf of Maine. So for the state of Maine, we had the mostly the mid-Atlantic coast of that from about Rockland, Maine to Machias and New Brunswick and Nova Scotia more hit hard yesterday. Whereas here in Portland, it was not too much more than a couple of raindrops and the wind that had the sustained winds. It probably didn't even reach uh, up to peaks of 50 mile per hour for wind gusts. So, G and I in this apartment, we were really lucky and we didn't even lose power. So, we hope everyone is safe. And if you guys don't still don't have any power after the storm, please make sure that you have your supplies and stuff like flashlights and food available for another day or so, so that you can be safe and. We hope you took some care to prepare for the storm. But here in New England, we've had storms that have been worse like this before. I talked about before when I remember 1991 when we had Hurricane Bob hit here in New England. That was a time when my mother and grandmother, as we were vacationing in Maine, they evacuated and went home to our house in Massachusetts and my father and I evacuated and that was the first time that I ever stayed in, or found the town of Sanford, Maine. And next day after the storm passed is where I went bowling for the first time at Owen Martin's Bowlerama in Sanford, Maine. So when we think about this, um, I've been through more powerful storms uh, than this one before. So you can see how, after I knew about the hurricane, how much knowledge uh, I gained from what uh, causes that in the Atlantic and what happens during it when it makes landfall. But one year later, after Hurricane Bob, we didn't have a really very active hurricane season. But the exception was in August of 1992, when I heard about the devastating effects of Hurricane Andrew when it hit the state of Florida before it weakened into a tropical storm and also hit Louisiana. That summer in 1992 is one where I'd like to bring up an, uh, something that is uh, what you should probably do when you go to a spot where you have to wait for quite a while. Because remembering me by the time I was eight years old, I could still remember the one time when my family and I were visiting Sanford, Maine. And at that time, there was this weather vane tra chain restaurant right by where the motel was. And that was one of the most slow service restaurants that I ever remember in my life and the wait for me getting a fish sandwich almost felt like forever. When I used to be in a position where I would have to wait for a long time, whether it was something like that or when I was waiting for the bus to take me to school, then my emotions would get the best of me and I would start crying very impatiently. My parents didn't like that and when I was out of control that day in the weather van I stood, my father just finally lost it at me and gave me a hard spank. So, it was a good lesson for me, and I hope this could be a lesson for you as well. So, whenever you go to a restaurant, when you feel like service is slow and you have to wait for a long time, please remember that the staff uh, may be short. 
They could be a lot of other happy, hungry customers available. And then the kitchen has to do some catching up. Or it could also be these folks who work at the restaurant make slow service in general because they may be slacking off or something. I didn't learn about all this uh, common consequences until I started working at D'Angelo back when I was fresh out of college and starting to make a little bit of money for myself. So that just uh, is a common reminder. I always tell myself whenever I have to be in a position where I have to wait. Now to get back on the storm and around what I heard about Hurricane Andrew, I felt kind of sorry for everybody who was devastated from the impact when it left behind a big mess from those sustained winds. And I knew about a few places that were in Florida that was I was watching on television. And then that really made a, a big impact on the society. But anyway, that uh, was uh, then. And of course, also I remember besides then in 1992, my parents took me to the Great Lakes in August for a little vacation. And before I knew it, I started third grade. And that was when I had one of my most memorable of all years at my elementary school. So once again, uh, to summarize here, we hope everyone had a safe day here in Maine or in the Canadian Maritimes during Tropical S Storm Lee. And also, I want to let you know how I've been through more weather such as this that played an impact around here in Cumberland County, which luckily didn't get very hit very hard, and we didn't lose any power yesterday. So we were so fortunate. And then also remember, if you're in a position where service is slow and you still want to make some time, make the best of it and try to keep yourself uh, entertained and maybe watch something that's on TV if they have a television inside the restaurant. And also remember that you should also understand that there are other hungry customers and they could be short-staffed or maybe the staff at the restaurant themselves could be falling behind on their duties a little bit. But if you include also those who are new, then don't take the blame on them. So... Let's hope this is a little bit lesson that I learned that I can pass on to you. And once again, I care about all of you. And hopefully that the storm yesterday, you were all having fun. And you can get back to your routines up to the next weekend. Thank you all very much and have a wonderful Sunday.